I think I might be in the small minority of fans that are for going after Jalen Ramsey or if he gets cut, go sign Jalen Ramsey or if he's available for trade, go after Jalen Ramsey. I think he would be a key piece to the Detroit Lions defensive back room, the secondary to help Jeff Okuda out and if we, we can still draft a corner. Then you have Jalen Ramsey, one of the best in the league, showing Jeff Okuda, Jerry Jacobs, and whoever we draft, how to be a pro and how to be a very good cornerback in this league. I think that would be very beneficial. And I know if we trade for him, it's a huge cap hit to us. But what? this is what good teams do. This is what teams that are in contention, the Lions are in contention. In my opinion, they're in contention. I know we haven't made the playoffs, and we haven't gone to the playoffs, and we we haven't won a playoff game in years, but we're on the trajectory to do so. And I'll talk about this later on in the video when we get into Ben Johnson talking about when he wants to come back. But I definitely would go all after Jalen Ramsey. He'd be extremely beneficial for Jeff Okuda. It'd be extremely beneficial for Jerry Jacobs. And it'd be extremely beneficial for anybody that we decide to draft this year at the cornerback position. And I know if we traded for him, it'd be a huge cap hit. Who cares? This is what, like I said, this is what good teams do. When they're in contention, they go after key pieces or they even trade away key pieces to get even better like what the Chiefs did last year with Tyreek Hill everyone was like why would you trade Tyreek Hill you guys are going to suck on offense look they won the Super Bowl you can't be afraid to make moves and the salary cap is so adjustable we look at it like oh how are we going to afford somebody you can adjust the salary cap like that like at the Rams last year when they made the run of the Super Bowl the salary cap is not that big of a deal and I think you do bring go in after Jalen Ramsey and we're a top landing spot destination every time there's a article about Jalen Ramsey either getting cut or he's getting traded. Detroit Lions are getting mentioned because of Brad Holmes or Ray Agnew. I wouldn't mind it. I really would not mind bringing Jalen Ramsey in here. I know he's 28 years old, but he could still play very hard and he would help us solidify that defense in the back end. Now let's talk about Ben Johnson. Whew, I love this. I love what he had this interview with Tim Twentyman yesterday on, on Tim Twentyman's podcast through the Lions Network. I watched it on YouTube. He said, I had great interviews with other owners, other coaches, and he still decided to come back to Detroit. He said it was great to meet other owners, other coaches, other staff around the league, but I still feel like there's unfinished business here in Detroit because when, when, and this is the first year in his four years that he feels so strong about the direction of the Detroit Lions and where they're going. Because when he came here, he went to a Garth Brook concert in Ford Field, and it was just rocking. Ford Field was crazy. You know how Detroit gets. We are the most lit fans in all of sports. I'm telling you what. You give us winners here, and Detroit's going to show you how to boogie. Detroit's going to show you how to party. It'd be a riot in Detroit. It'd be a riot in all the suburbs. It'd be a riot all over the state if the Lions won the Super Bowl. However, he was saying how crazy the atmosphere was at that counter, and this is what exactly what a home playoff game would look like for the Detroit Lions. I'm telling you, man. Detroit is something special and he feels it and the coaches feel it and it's finally encouraging that they want to build something here. It's not just a place where players are coming to go get a contract. Coaches are just coming to get a paycheck. They're starting to care about Detroit. They're starting to want to take this direction and spring this thing forward. We're hosting a home playoff game, man. I'm feeling it. And you know how electrifying a home playoff game would be? How electrifying this place would be if the Lions made a run to the Super Bowl? This place would be unbelievably special. I can't wait to live through it. I'm going to live through it one day. We got to speak it to existence. But just imagine, you know how crazy it was getting towards the end of the season last year when we were nine and eight. Could you imagine if we were like paper the number one seed or we were going to host a playoff game? How rocking Ford Field would be. It'd be deafening to the opposing teams, and it would be an attractive place for other players to want to come play in Detroit, man. I'm fired up about this season. I'm fired up. Ben Johnson's coming back. I definitely would go after Jalen Ramsey. Now let's react to Ty McShay's post Super Bowl mock draft. Some rumors talking about the Detroit Lions. You know what's crazy about these mock drafts is after the top five, you really don't know what's going on. So I wouldn't mind the Detroit Lions trading back in a quarter and a quarter later at like 10 to get more draft capital because if Tyree Wilson's gone, Will Anderson's gone, and Jalen Carter's not gone, I don't really want to draft a quarterback. I want one of those three defensive players. If they're not there, trade back and then go get Christian Gonzalez. Don't reach on Devin Witherspoon, Christian Gonzalez at six. But he has us taking Miles Murphy defensive end from Clemson, wouldn't mind another defensive end. The more the merrier. You got Jalen, Aiden Hutchinson, James Houston, then you would have Miles Murphy. And then at 18, he had us drafted Keely Ringo, corner from Georgia. He's corner. 
these cornerback orders are going off and down. Devin Weatherspoon, then you got Keely Ringo going first. So you don't know what the rankings are going to be. We're going to see a lot more after the pro days and after the combine where these scouts are going. But right now, I wouldn't mind what Ty McShay did yesterday. But ultimately, I want to trade down in the draft and go from six to about number 10. What do you guys think? Don't forget to comment below what your thoughts about Jalen Ramsey, Ben Johnson, and the Ty McShay mock draft. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, help the boy grow this. I appreciate you guys. One pride, signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.